All of a sudden we say it was meant to be shearing. It was just meant to be. Oh God. Release me, push out the ground team. Release me, push out the right team. The hot stars do it. Ed Sheeran. Ed bloody Sheeran. Everyone's favourite ginger. The man who went from busking on the streets to headlining Glastonbury Pyramid stage, and more importantly, the man who brought us the Nando skank. Fucking breasts and the wings and the thighs. This man is a national treasure. Unreachable? Maybe. Well, that was until it was announced that this fine figure of a man was playing an intimate gig of around 400 people right on our doorstep. Now, if you were faced with the opportunity to be in front of Ed Sheeran, what would you ask? What would you do? Well, we had an idea. What if we could get Ed to sing the intro song to the Zack and Jay show? That's right, the biggest music star on the planet collaborating with Zack and Jay. We had a three step plan to get this done. So stay tuned for this previously unreleased episode of The Zack and Jay Show. Step one, the present. Now you should never give to receive, but it sure does help sweeten the deal. So we were on a mission to see what we could get to make Ed tick. Now this man would typically charge millions for a feature and we wanted it for free. So the mission to figure this shit out was underway. Um, I'm interviewing Ed Sheeran on Friday for when he does his um, kind of secret gig at Islington Hall. And, and what we're hoping to um, bring to him is some kind of warm heartfelt um, items and gifts that you kind of would cl uh, hold close to his heart but not be expecting. So I was wondering if there was anything that you'd recommend. Um, I can't really answer that. Probably not helpful, but we go again. Hi, um, am I told that Earlstone Brewery? Um, no, you're talking to the Victoria Earlstone. Ah, we go again. So we're now calling the Earl Soham Brewery, where we're told that he, uh, Mr. Sheeran likes it. Good afternoon, Earl Soham Brewery. Hello, my name's Jamie. Sorry, who's this for? Uh, Ed Sheeran. Oh, right. Yeah, he, he likes the Victoria Bitter. Oh, the Victoria Bitter, is that the one that we're after then? That's his favourite, yes. All oh, right, brilliant. Amazing. Thanks very much, been very helpful. Okay, you're hopefully, welcome. Hopefully Thank he'll you. put a smile on his Bye. face. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what a laugh. Hello. He said, um, oh, I was expecting a call from Ed just yesterday, so so he speaks with Ed himself. Yeah, he's going to get it sent down. It sounds promising. Game on. Got the packaging from the, the delivery. Expecting good things. Mr. Sheeran. Oh, nice. Looks fucking amazing. So during his research, Jamie found out that Ed loves Lego. Combine that with his wife, Cherry, and his two cats, we're on to a winner. Okay. Bonjour, je m'appelle Josh. I'm not Francais, but I'm wearing Lacoste. I feel suave when I rock that top. No Versace, no Hugo Boss. Step two, scope out the venue. With such an intimate gig and team, the info was going to be scarce. So we headed down to the venue one day early to see if we could find any clues. And uh, it's not looking good. We have been searching for the past hour. Can't find anything. They got it pretty well locked up. So uh, we're clutching our straws a little bit. After two hours of searching, we had nothing conclusive. So we went to a local Italian down the road for some food. And on the way back, this happened. <laughs> right. <laughs> We are at the Islington, uh, Islington Arena. I, so we're, this is the shit that always happens, which makes the videos unbelievable, but... It's happening! God is on our side! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, but, everyone. Sorry. But, but I found this. God is on our side. On, on Sheeran, we are en route. We found this on it the fucking floor, to be. opposite the arena. It was meant to Shut be, up. Sheeran. <laughs> it was just meant to be. So, you tried holding us back security, <laughs> but not today. Not today! Literally, I don't, I literally don't understand the this shit happens. This is a triple A pass, and it was literally Honestly, it's fucking filthy. I've just on the seen floor. that kid pick it up. I didn't know what it was, <laughs> but, Dan, but I saw the, his excitement. Dan, wow. Boy, shout me. <laughs> I knew there was a reason why we went to that Italian. Oh, oh, we went oh to this. boys. Oh, boys. <laughs> so we're based up in the same pubs earlier. Uh, we're gonna get the pass out on that. Work on it, and then we're gonna go to a gig at Islington Assembly just to check it out inside, see if there's any ways backstage. With our luck suddenly changed, things were starting to look up. So we got to work on crafting the most beautiful triple A pass you had ever seen. 
Although the past for tomorrow's event was bound to be different, this puppy was a vital first step and a template needed for the big day. With things going smoothly now, our doubts from earlier vanished. Now we're not superstitious folk here at the Zack and Jay show, but when you put yourself in a position to be lucky, that's when you usually are. And with that, the acoustic guitar player who was playing that night bust out this little number. You could not make this shit up. With our luck changing, Jamie decides to head to the gig to check it out. In Islington. Uh, do, I, sh do you think I should? <laughs> With Jamie bored at the gig by himself, he sold me a pipe dream and convinced me to come. So I finished up the last details on the past template for tomorrow and went across to find out some intel. We all we found out was what the employee T-shirt looked like. So probably we're going to try and get one of those. It's our best bet tomorrow. Jamie's going to be delivering uh, our beers and potentially some water as like a delivery boy, and I'm going to be a cameraman. Jamie's come through with the goods. Hey! Step three make the passes. Considering we had absolutely no intel on what the passes actually look like, these were looking good. I'm not posh or a wavy geezer, oh, I'm just Josh that lady stealer. Passy in the 80s geezer, 80s lacoste, 80s feeler. Nostalgia like 80s beezer, I'm English like Tracy Beaker. You put me on a bassy speaker, then pay me a crazy feature. And you know that I'm far from a hipster, I'm the one line trick star, mic and mixer. So with two hours until showtime, we left the house and decided to run through some possible scenarios ahead of the night. Trim looking dead, check. Got all the gear, check. Ready to go. Ready to go. Hey Ed, this is for you. Um, what, get, the fuck fuck up, get the fuck out my face. What the fuck's that lads? Oh it's just a nice Lego portrait of your family, we know you really like Lego and cats. Get the fuck out of it! Oh, so Jamie's just realised he's spent more on Ed Sheeran's presents than he will do for his mum's Christmas. Not right, that is it. No, Jamie, it's not right. But it's the sacrifice you made for your subscribers, remember? Hi, viewers. I'm the Archangel of the Zack and Jay Show, here to make sure you are liking this video and subscribing if you are new. And if you don't... I'll back out of strength on any of you, man, yeah? Like the video now! Step four and five, rock up, rock in, backstage, and collaborate with Ed Sheeran on the best intro song a YouTube channel has ever seen. How are you feeling, Nomad? I think we just need to go for it, man. Woohoo! Man's ready, you know? We arrived to the venue where the gravity of this event become evident. Huge buses, many hands on deck, and one global superstar set to grace the stage. Now this wasn't going to be easy, but we headed back to the same pub where all the luck happened yesterday to make the final preparations to the pass. Still not knowing what they actually looked like, or even what colours were used. Look legit, yeah. Don't feel legit. Don't feel legit, that's all. But this was bigger than us. This is about Zack and Jay collaborating with the man, Ed Sheeran. Eduardo Sheriano. Our boy Ed. Jamie, the delivery boy, made his way towards the busy entrance. With Ed's favourite beers and a custom Lego photo frame in hand, this man was possessed by the cause. He's in, he's fucking in. Come on, come on, lad. Jamie Rawson is in the fucking building, <laughs> which means it's not my go. With Jamie seemingly in the all clear, a little smug grin started to make his way over my face. What a rookie error that proved to be as I received a gruelling message which teared my delicate soul. Shit, just got a text from Jamie saying that he's been nicked. Yeah, so we'll see, we'll see how this one pans out. It's like the worst, <laughs> the worst bit. Excuse me, sir. Oh, God. <laughs> 
Oh, how do you, how do you feel? So annoyed. Oh. Basically, I'm bowled in like this. We saw so you. was like, excuse me, mate. And he went, do you work here? Bowled the fuck in like it was nobody's business. Yeah, I work here. Got in, got to the actual arena. I went like this. Didn't know really what to do. You panic a bit here. Put my stuff down. Ripped off my tee. Put it down there. But then I was like, oh shit. There's a security guard watching me. Grabbed the shit. Walked to the toilet, and there was a guy behind me. Oh fuck, I've got an official. I've got an official. Uh, and yeah, they were just fucking nicking me. Having none of it. But that Bobby guy. What did, came, what Bobby, did they say? Yeah, came in and was like, How the fuck did you get into my venue? In a friendly way. He was like, How the fuck did you get in there, mate? We know you are. We know you are. You were here yesterday, it. weren't you? And I was, he was like, How was yesterday? How was yesterday? And I was like, No way. Yeah, yeah, it was good, man. 10th way, we looked, yeah, they knew. Oh my god, they fucking clogged us yesterday. Yeah. We decided to take refuge in a restaurant. We had been rumbled for the first time in what felt like forever. Zach and Jay had been done. And fair play. But you know what they say about life. It's not about how hard you get knocked down. It's about how many times you get back up. And with every great plan, there's a plan B. And with a cause bigger than ourselves, we decided to put plan B into action. The only chance at securing the collaboration of the century. The plan was simple, and with Jamie's previous intel from inside, we now knew the passes were green. We rocked up right after showtime and headed towards the stage door, the belly of the beast. All the countless hours of stress, digging for intel, making calls, the ups, the downs, had all led to this point. Our time was limited. The staff literally knew who we were. We beelined for the backstage door. Ed was getting these beers if our lives depended on it. We ducked security on the entrance. The post gig packing up were playing to our favour with one security standing between us and backstage. We did not falter. With the passion of a thousand lions, we made it past. With us backstage and knocking like no one's business, we had either scared Ed into not answering the door or he was gone. Checked around one more time, but it wasn't looking good. Plan B was so reliant on perfect timing and I think we had just missed him. So we decided to accept defeat on the mission of a lifetime and say goodbye to a collaboration that may never happen. Boys down. <laughs> they, they, they can't help but respect that man, we got it again. <laughs> They're like, how the fuck have you got in? Now for whatever reason, if any of you know Mr Sheeran, 15 minutes, Central, Central London, London, we'll bring the mic! <laughs> Very simple notes. Very simple, you got it. Looks like it's gonna be a great day today To get some fresh air like a stray on a straightaway Hey you, got a light now, nah, a Bud Light Early in the morning, face crud from like a mud 